Well, I think I've really gotten this question for so long. Almost each and every day, I get the same question. So today I decided that I'm going to answer this question. I'm not going to procrastinate. I am going to answer it today and not only today, but right now, which is the best book to use for revision, specifically in mathematics. Well, and actually before I answer your question, allow me to make this statement to you. Before you even think about revision books, it's always important to have with you the KLB mathematics book. That is what is nowadays called the secondary mathematics book. Why? Because that is the book that has been recommended by the government and also it is the one that contains the curriculum and the syllabus that is being outlined by the government. But then again, we all know that if you use common things and uh, if you do things in a common way, you will always get common results. And actually that makes me to ask myself a question and I want to puzzle the same question to you. Do you think using the KLB mathematics book is enough for your revision? Do you think that that book will give you the enough practice that you desire? Do you think that that book will give you the results that you aspire to have? Well, I won't answer that question to you, but I will leave with you that question so that you can uh, ponder on it and also you can think about it. Well, and actually I know each and every ambitious student and every teacher knows how important it is to have a revision book. And actually that takes me to the question of the day. And that is, uh, which is the best book to use using revision, specifically in mathematics? You know, I am speaking with uh, a lot of humility and uh, with a lot of integrity. Over the last three years, I have been interacting with almost each and every book that is there in the market. I've gotten the opportunity to switch between the pages and I can tell you right today, today looking at uh, your eyes straight at you that uh, there is only one book that I can confidently refer you to, to you or rather recommend it to you because I've seen it being very so awesome and there is none other than the book that you can be able to see on your screen. It is uh, entitled as uh, the Daily Mathematics Challenges. Well, there are a couple of reasons why I can recommend it to you. However, just allow me to just give you five reasons, but I am not giving you these five reasons so that I can influence you to buy it, but I'm giving you the five reasons so that you can see how important it is to have it and also for the essence of uh, answering the question that I've been getting. That is why I do recommend the book. Where can we find you? Where can we find your books? Mwalimu has a whole mathematics encyclopedia. Can you imagine? Mwalimu, can we find you your content as well? Oh, wow, thank you. And actually, it's uh, good that you've mentioned about the book. I'd love just to mention one word about it. Uh, because Well, the first reason and the most important one is that uh, the book that I'm recommending, the one that you can be able to see on your screen, it contains almost each and every testable question, theory, concepts, in KCSE. Uh, so, you know, every teacher, every examiner can tell you that. And a paper that or rather a question that appeared on this year can come in next year when it is a little bit twisted. And, uh, you know, what the book does is that it tries to look at question in all angles, in all perspectives, so that as you meet a similar question that has been twisted, you won't fall into the trap of the twisting, but you'll always get the question right. Why? Because the question have given you enough exposure by giving you questions uh, from all dimensions, from all the setting angles, yeah, so that it can give you the adequate practice that uh, you really require. Number two, why I do recommend the book is because the book will help you to break down complex revision work into smaller manageable work. You know, I do understand how it feels like uh, you are there, you've got eight subjects, you are supposed to revise from form one to form four. And I find a lot of people really struggling to balance all that time of revising all that work because I know it's uh, indeed a lot of work. So we've uh, solved this problem by breaking all that work into smaller manageable chunks. What do I mean by that? Once you get into that book, the book is divided into months, into weeks, into sets, and into days, such that if it's the second week of July, you'll be knowing that this is the question that I should be handling 
if it's the third week of August, you'll be knowing that this is the question that uh, I should uh, be doing. So what the book is doing, it is helping you in three ways by breaking down the complex work. One, it is uh, helping you to be orderly because it is bringing order to your work such that uh, you won't be having like a setting timetable, I don't know what. So the book that uh, has already done all that work for you. Number two, the book will uh, help you to remain focused. It will make you to be focused on that thing that you should be doing at the moment and leaving the entire work to the scheduled time. And another thing, the book will help you to be productive. You know, you won't waste a lot of time coming up with uh, timetables, trying to fix up time to do things. You know, the book have already done all that work for you. Your work is just to go to the book and uh, to implement the scheduled uh, mathematics tests that have been put there for you. Number three, why I do recommend the book, it's because it is a weakness detective tool. What do I mean by this? You know, I have been interacting with a lot of uh, high schoolers and I have seen most of them confusing motion with progress, confusing activities with accomplishments, confusing processes with results. Uh, what do I mean by in uh, simpler terms? You see, like uh, you find most of them, they are so busy, busy, busy doing revision. But if you could tell them to quantify or rather to account the progress that they have made, you'll see that it's kind of like they have not made any progress. Why? Because they even don't know the areas that they are weak in. They don't know whether they are improving on the uh, weak areas. So in order to get off of this, what we've done in the book is that uh, we've come up with a tool inside the book, uh, what I'm uh, calling the evaluation test. So how does this evaluation test look like? In the evaluation test, there is a place that you can be able to tick uh, the questions that you got right, the questions that you got wrong, and also in the evaluation test, there is uh, somewhere that uh, you are able to list the topics that you failed and also the time that you intend to revise them. You know, by so doing, you are able to tell that uh, this is the topic that I'm consistently failing in. And uh, with time, that is uh, what you now start giving more attention to, such that uh, when the paper comes, that is your final examination paper, you'll already have worked very well and sharpened your weak areas, such that uh, you won't even be having any worries like, uh, you know, I'm weak in this area or anything. You'll just be so fit to just face the paper with a lot of confidence and uh, with a lot of enthusiasm. You know, reason number four, why do I really, really uh, recommend the book? You know, the book contains additional key mathematics notes. You know, on top of having the solutions being given after every month, after every week, after every set, we've added something there right for you. Uh, that is what I'm calling additional maths notes. You know, if you ask each and every examiner, as they said, the papers, what uh, they usually try to do is that uh, they try to fix some traps in the question. They try to put some tricks in the question so that you can fall into, into the trap. And then if you ask any ambitious student, they always know that uh, in order for you to get the full marks in a question, you must be able to do two things. Number one, you should be able to identify where the trick has been placed. And number two, you must be able to escape the trick. You know, in order to uh, to solve this issue, what we've done is that uh, after a number of questions, we've given or rather we've told the learner that uh, this is where the trick is usually put. This is where the... Uh, we are likely to put a trick on the question. So that is, uh, you do similar questions of such kind, you'll always be ahead of the people or rather of the person who said the examination. You'll already be even reading the mind of the examiner. You'll be knowing that, uh, yeah, probably they, they want to make me to fall into this trap. But now the book will have helped you to ident identify some of these parts that the tricks are put such that you won't fall easily into the traps or rather into the tricks of the question. Number five reason why I do recommend the book is because now, you know, once you get the book, you will get what we call the Countercy Mathematics Support. You know, in this country, you know, since I was born, if I'm frank enough, I've never gotten a brand that gives support to a person after they maybe make the purchase of the product. But here in Countercy Mathematics, we say, 
once you buy uh, the book, you get into the Countercy Mathematics community. What do I mean by that? You see, during the holidays, we usually have a lot of fun, exciting, and wonderful mathematics uh, events. Mostly, they're done virtually. We usually have mathematics contests. We usually have mathematics lessons and such things that are, uh, help learners to interact, to come together, to compete in mathematics, and so on. And actually, there is a website that has already been uh, made, but it will be released to the public very soon. So once you get to have the book, you'll be able to access the digital mathematics tutorials for the first two weeks of the uh, of the questions that are there in the daily mathematics challenges that is by the C mathematics uh, team. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, there could be more reasons that uh, I do recommend the book, but for the interest of time, just allow me to give you those five reasons that I believe that uh, uh, are well good with you. You know, uh, but now I know that uh, you may already be questioning yourself, how do I get the book? Uh, how is it being, how does it cost and so on? But actually just before you move into that, if you're just listening to me, if you're watching me, just make sure that uh, you do share this clip with every high schooler, every learner that uh, is near you. You can just share with them the link or rather the video on how they can be able to get it. You know, let's now get back to the question you know, where do I get the book? You know, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, can I be able to get it in bookshop and so on? Well, at the moment, uh, for some personal reasons, you've not put it in any bookshops around the country, but what we are doing is that uh, we've got uh, a very fine team that is doing deliveries to your nearest towns and also to your school. So you can always get, or rather keep in touch with us and tell us where you would love it to get delivered. And now let's now get the maybe the final question about the cost of the book. You know, the book at the moment, it is uh, costing at a shilling 850. But now at the moment, we really uh, did a lot of reconsiderations, a lot of deliberations uh, with the team that um, we are working together with. And um, we just saw it good to give you people a discount, a discount of uh, 27%. You can imagine getting a discount of 27 percent you know so we are just giving you the discount of 27 percent and that means that uh, you will be getting the book right at uh, shillings 620 only so i just don't wanna maybe proceed more from there but i know that uh, we'll continue interacting here at uh, counter mathematics and uh, thank you so much for being with us here what I just wanna say is, uh, what I just wanna say is that uh, uh, bye bye. We shall get to meet in the next clips. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, God bless.